Hey everyone, and welcome to a Let's Play Dishonored 2, part 39, where I just knocked out the real Duke and replaced him with this friend, who also apparently has his key. Hmm, I'm still trying to get my head around this. It's incredible. It's pretty good, right? It'll be dicey for a while because I may be missing a few details. That's fine. As quickly as I can, I'll turn over the palace guard. That will help cover me. Yep. Once you're off for Dunwall, I'll wait for your messages. Though, to be honest, turning over the palace guard all of a sudden after also removing your body double may be a bit obvious. I'll need all the help I can get turning this around. And you need to stop smoking because it'll give you away. People know this. Come on. Get all the way down, shall we? Elevator music. Yep. Nope. Actually, um, did I say, did I say that? Did I say dining? I meant the game lounge. Actually, is what I meant. Silly me. Oh, did I say game lounge? I actually meant guest rooms. Bye. I made a huge mistake. Well, I think that turned out well. Clearly. We'll just, uh, um, uh, uh, jump, jump into the water. Will it kill me? Would it kill me to jump into the water? If the old duke could only see this, wasteful expense, wanton flesh. And such terrible wines. At least he knew better than to serve Tyrion with hagfish. Joke if you want to. Our new duke spends more in one month than his father spent in a year. Old Theodara Sabell was tied with the coin. Why worry? When the war is done, we'll have it back tenfold in tribute. This is the Circonian age, my friend. The age of Luca Abelli. Enjoy it. The old duke. The old duke was wise. Yes, the old duke was careful. But the new duke dragged the empress off her throne and gave us the isles. So tell me, who's the better man? The one who is not about to get assassinated? Well, actually I'll probably not assassinate him. It'll just sort of happen. He'll just disappear. Oh wait, no, I need to be here. Listen, if you're hiding at that, I'm just not buying that. I'm just not. Oh, darn. There's a person there. That is unfortunate, actually. Uh, oh wait. I can make that? I can make that. Excellent. Hello there, friends. I'm here to leave. Oh god. Wait. Where's- oh no, I know where that is. Never mind. For a minute there I thought I missed something. I probably still did miss something, but you know. Who's counting, I guess? Um... Can I- I can, and I think I'll save before I do that, just in case I fall down and die. But not today. Sneaky. Hello. I mean, yeah. not hello. Not a wait. Never mind. Definitely hello. Yeah, I guess it would make sense for them to get out of range. Is that my skiff? Will it be? I think it is. Shouldn't I just... Maybe I should just swim over there. Aha. Ah, screw it. Hello, friend. Friend Foster. I am here. I have done the thing. So, is that it? The fall of Karnaka. From now on, the Duke will be guided by better stars. Back to the dreadful whale, then, and on toward Dunwall. Yes, at long last, to take back the throne. 
me find a way to save my father. Ready then? So ready, never been better. All right, as you want. I do want. What? Every time someone just randomly dies. Just out of nowhere. Because of reasons, clearly. Didn't even get all the runes. I suck. Went through the pantry. Yeah, I did do all those special things. Two of them are just the top one, though. Replace the guy. Remove the broken gazelle. I did that? Hmm. I think I did that. Haunted by the past. Trick the black market shopkeeper into opening the back door. Yeah, I did that too. <laughs> that was entirely pointless, but hey. I did it. <laughs> I grew up with this broken skyline. The muted colors and the way the light falls. It's done well. But it's not. Have I changed? Or does everything just look different when you're not wearing a crown? Whatever grand scheme you've got underway now, Delilah. You were smart when you stole this place from me. You knew who among my people to corrupt, and you took away my strongest ally, my father. But you didn't know me. You only saw a sheltered princess. You never thought I'd fight back. You don't know me, Delilah, but you will. Oh, you will. You will. We're gonna get a visit from the outsider now. I do have a strange heart. No? Apparently not. Got some coins though. Randomly. Time for scribbling. Oh, that's the gazelle I stole. I grieve for a second time. What was it like to walk with her heart somewhere near, but never quite in the real world? It was her wisdom, her insight, her voice, her love. Mother, now I've lost you twice. I knew her spirit was trapped, I knew she needed to be set free, but how could I? Of course she found a way to help me, one last time. No, I will not cry, not yet, not until all my work is done. Now the heart contains a different spirit, a different voice, Delilah Copperspoon, spinner of lies, thief of thrones. Delilah, the selfish, cunning, and cruel. The Duke of Kernica. Not so long ago, I would have gladly thrust a dagger into Duke of Bellas. A, a belly is how they pronounced it? I'm gonna stick with a bell. Just makes more sense. Duke of Bell's chest, but a more subtle opportunity presented itself, and I took it. The Duke still lives, but they dragged him away, thinking he was his own political double, gone mad. And the Duke's actual double? I don't think he'll be a much, much better Duke than the real one ever was. People will never know why their ruler suddenly gained wisdom or took a kinder tone. And maybe they'll wonder why Empress Emily changed just as suddenly. I'm not the same person I was two months ago. Now there's only one more task before I can rest. Corvo, my father. I am coming. Back to Dunwall. Dunwall, my home. Terrible things, no doubt. Oh, pff, I just entered. I just exited that sentence before it was even over. Terrible things, no doubt, happened here since I left. Since I was forced to leave. Will the city be in ruins? The people terrified, hiding in their homes. I'm actually gonna bet that they're doing quite well. I think. I don't actually think that Delilah would be an evil empress. Necessarily. Am I trying to reassure myself, imagining the worst? What if I found the city in better shape than I left it? Delilah doing a better job than I did? No, I don't think it will be the case. I know Delilah, and I know myself better now. I feel guilty for all the things I could have done better before this all started. For being an empress not many people thought was worth fighting for. Clearly, except for some loyalties. I don't know what I'll see, but whatever has happened to my city, I mustn't let grief or anger cloud my thoughts because the destruction of Dunwall won't be weighing heavily on Delilah's mind. She must know I'll be coming for her. She's watched from afar as one after another of her allies have been removed from my path. Does she feel vulnerable? Or was this her plan all along? 
I somehow doubt that. That would have been a very strange plan, to say the least. I still need one more item for my collection. Guys. I never get any notes anymore either. Eh, nothing here. How about Enter? Wait, what? This keeps getting removed from my bars for some reason. You will never gain back what you lost. Oh, shut up. Has accomplished. Coming from such a background, taking the throne. Rude. Can I not, um... At least the situation with the Duke is behind us. Let's not forget that small detail. Thanks. Wait, what? Guy! Who did this? Who did this? Who put blood flies in here? Sokolov? Did you put blood flies in there? You bet, you bet you did. I need to just get around it. Probably not, no. It's probably very, very gone. literally shock them all or just you know surprise kind of shocking you can tell me it's fine duke is gone gone delilah's obviously not gone oh we're we can actually inspect her this time hmm stilton manor oh yes is he done talking? I guess he is. We'll inspect in that case. All right, Aunt Delilah. Let's see what you've done with my palace. Let's see indeed. Home at last. It feels like another lifetime living in the tower. I don't say. Because it was. I'm still aboard this creaking thing that Mega calls a boat. And Tom Sokolov, once the designer of mighty ship. Thought you were going to shock people. You can't do that when you're dead. Okay, hold on. Okay, Socky. I there you are. I wanted a chance to talk. Uh uh where? How? Where? Are you up? Are you down? My lady? Where are you? I guess up. Probably. On the deck, maybe? Let's go upstairs. I keep- I mean, this is not the f- And that's twice I've broken it for you. Oh, we can start a breathing with both people. Okay, hold on. There's a briefing for- from both people at this point. I wonder what Delilah's thinking. She must be aware that things have changed in Karnaka. Don't don't hate me. I just want the bone charms. You probably have Five more dialogue. Ago, if someone told me that one day I'd be happy not living alone, I would have laughed. 
are you are you implying that you're you're all right with living here with us too are you there was a time i could find my way across these roofs blindfolded i won a lot of drinks from people who said i couldn't oh you actually went and did it blindfolded that that takes guts that takes a lot of guts i've done well you look like you're on fire literally literally on fire okay well we're just gonna take your things um also check upstairs in your other other cabin i guess uh, another one of these which i have too many of and how about how about this why are you guys collecting these things it's very strange letter to billy lurk billy I know your address, so I just give this letter to a mudlark who knew the lay of the area and hope for the best. You and I ain't got no reason to like each other, but Fennec liked you good enough, so that's why I'm writing. Anyways, he's dead, and I never thought- I thought you should know. I never thought you should know. It was that old wound, remember? It never did heal. He tried every kind of cure and poultice. You know what I think? I think maybe the, the boss cut him. Who's the boss? Maybe on purpose, maybe not. You know how it was back then? Speaking of, I tried to find the big knife, but no one's heard a thing of yours. In years. In, in, your, in your years as well. Don't know if he's alive or what. Anyways, out of respect to Fennec, if I ever see you, I won't kill you, Katrina. So, who's Billy? And why is this letter here? Is it a nickname? For Megan? Is that how it is? I'm confused. I'm always confused, but, you know more so than usual open aha steel and steel heading star and bird of prey drop assassination restore some health yeah but we don't use that drop assassination restore some mana but I don't assassinate people listen here oh it's a mask oh it's a real fan Megan Foster's notebook. Years ago, another time. Huh, nice achievement, I guess. What day is it? I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know what will happen. No one can know. But I have a feeling that we'll all be dead soon. Everyone dies, just like my sweet Deirdre, twitching in the mud. Oh dear. But I think death is very close now. The air feels strange. The wind is coming from the west. I saw a dead gull floating in some foam. Don't go off to Dunwall. Billy, that's what I'm reading from all the signs. I could run. Finally try and find him at long last, the old knife himself. So she is actually Billy. They could rent another boat. They don't need me, not really. So I could run. I should run. Haven't I had more than my share of blood? So why am I still here? Didn't run away. Wanted. Don't. Still. And Billy Lurk. Wait. Wait. They work together? I didn't actually play the full DLC. I just saw bits and pieces of it. So I don't actually know most of this. The offenses of this man slash woman are high crimes under the strictures of the High Overseer, the municipal laws of the City Watch of Dunwall, and the edicts of some some. Is what she's gonna tell me is that she aided in the assassination of my mother? Is that what she's gonna tell me? No one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death as Delilah's puppet. No one except the outsider who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter to someone, somewhere. And sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Circonos to Dunwall as a boy. Made my living as a killer. One of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress. But saved her daughter. Who will one day rule the Empire. Hmm. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. Yeah. So they did probably work together. Because this mask is here. Which we see there. So she helped. But they saved me though, I guess. So that's that's okay. 
Is that okay? Okay. You know where to go to find Delilah, but how will you handle her? It's my hope that you have some sort of plan. It could be tricky. She might not give me any choice but to fight. And Delilah deserves whatever she gets. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. As I told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, but cunning and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. It's probably too late to dwell on regrets. Yes, you're right. In any case, please watch yourself. I've come to care a great deal about you. Goodbye, Anton. Well, you could have been a bit nicer about it, Emily. God. Painted Maybe you and everything. waiting for you on the deck outside. She seemed cagey earlier, even more than usual. You took the worst Karnaka had to offer and acquitted yourself superbly. Good luck with Delilah. I fear for the Empire if you fail. Remember, the people of the city might have endured a great deal since you were driven from Dunwall. Desperate times. I thought maybe one more chapter left in my own tale. Hopefully a chapter set next to a roaring fire in Tivia. I hope so too. Toppling the Duke must give you a sense of peace. Maybe a better day will be born of it. It would be interesting to study why the blood flies have never taken hold here. Time. If I only had more time. Place was taken by rats? Goodbye, Emily. I suspect I'll not see you again. That's a bit sad. We can tell that the people here aren't really into warmth and hugs and all that. Megan. People have called me that for a long time. But it's a lie. My name is Billy Lurk. Everyone's full of secrets. Why do I feel like you've got more to say? Yeah. I can't believe I'm telling you this. But you deserve the truth. I'll just say it. Fifteen years ago, I ran with a mercenary gang. We got paid to kill people. Some who deserved it. Some who didn't. The boss pulled me up from the Dunwall slums when I had nothing and had run out of rope. I... This is hard to admit. Whatever it is, spit it out. Our leader was the assassin Dowd. And I was part of the crew. Our last big job together. We were paid to... You helped Dowd kill my mother? Yes. I don't know what else to say. I've lived a very long time wishing I could take that day back. But I can't. No, oh, you're not a monster. Come on. Everyone changes. I can't ever forgive you for what you did. But suffering has a way of twisting people. You're a different woman today than you were then. Yeah. We've all been hurt. But not all of us did what I did. Or became what Delilah became. I know you'll never get over it, but neither will I. I hope not. Goodbye, Billy. I'm taking the skiff, and I'll go alone from here. Wow! That was one way to end the stay at the boat, clearly. Great. Nice. I can't deny it. Traveling with you... ...has changed me. 
I know you want to face her alone. But good luck. Remember, even if you pull off whatever trick you're planning for Delilah, she won't be easy to beat. I'm glad Sokolov was awake to say goodbye. How is it the old man cured the plague all those years ago, but can't eat without getting food on his shirt? Yeah, I do that a lot too. I'm a very messy eater. In my time here, the Dunwall City Watch was just a bunch of drunkards and layabouts. No wonder half of them turned on you. Goodbye, Emily. Bye. But listen. Listen, though. Listen. Just, uh, just needed you to know that. Come, heart. Let us leave this place. Let's go. If old Samuel could see me now. Samuel used to skiff Corvo around in Dishonored 1. In case you didn't know that. Now you know. The more you know. will be made mortal again. You, you let, let your mother, mother slip into oblivion. oblivion. Do, Do you know where my mother's resting? resting? In, In a child's coffin. Her skin is tucked beneath her. her. Because I couldn't afford a proper burial. While well, well, my father rests in the imperial, imperial crypt. You're lying. You still can't, can't accept, accept it for the girl. girl. Your, your father was born a nobody. I inhabit your mother's, mother's heart. And, and my body walks the halls of your crumbling palace. And sleeps between your sheets. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that birth shouldn't give anyone the right to rule. You earn it every day by serving the people who need you. Now I'm coming to end your tyranny, Delilah. Do you want to talk about that, Delilah? There are marks on our flesh, made by the knife of Dunwall. Cursed Dao who hides in the world and breathes still. Huh, doubt is still around then, eh? I actually believe I went the same exact way at one point as Corvo in Dishonored 1. Could be wrong, could be right. Ah, there's an outsider shrine here. Only one though. Oh, it's not actually all here. Huh. Let us enter the city in the next part.